So Death Battle Season 8 has finally come to a close, and overall, I enjoyed it. And my Season 7 ranking, while pretty outdated in terms of quality, is still a video I'm pretty happy with. So, let's do it again! I'm going to be ranking all the episodes of Season 8 from worst to best. However, before we get into it, my review of all of these episodes in this video will all be very brief. If you want a more in-depth review, I have quick reviews for all but 5 of these episodes where I go more into detail. So if you're interested, go give those a watch after this. But with that, let's get right into my ranking of Death Battle Season 8. So I don't really think any episode this season is necessarily bad, but there is still a worst, and Steven vs. Star takes that spot for me. I don't really have anything I really dislike with it, I just kind of find it boring. The analysis is good enough with the only big issue in it being some of the pacing in Steven's, but overall it's not bad, just a bit bland. And the fight, well, it happened. The choreography is pretty basic and is mostly boring except for like in one scene. The animation is pretty janky at times, it feels really short, and at times it barely feels like a fight. Like, it does get better once Steven goes pink, but yeah, other than that, it's just, eh. I'll give the fight credit though, and that the death is actually pretty good, and the shot after it's cool. But overall, like I said, it's just okay. I don't think this episode's bad or anything, I just don't find it that fun or interesting, and for that, it gets my last spot. What the fuck happened here? I'll be 100% honest, if it wasn't for this episode actually having a good analysis, then this would easily be last place with no question. This fight is basically Batgirl vs Spider-Gwen again, but a tiny bit better. The, set the setup is god awful, the animation looks weird, the setting is boring and makes no sense, like seriously, why are they in a desert? The choreography sucks, it has glimmers of actually good choreography, but most of the time it's just a boring mess of janky moves. Also, the death is bad, it's lame and way too confusing, and for a Mortal Kombat character to kill someone off screen is just wrong. I, I don't know what to say, it's, this fight's just fucking boring, it's so boring. God, I expected the fight to be the highlight of the episode, but boy could I have not been more wrong. Call the Lex bot, you knuckle dragging buffoon. So, funny story, I almost fell asleep multiple times while watching this episode. Granted, it was entirely due to it being very late at night when I rewatched it, but yeah, this episode is just kind of boring. It's not bad, but it's a very bland episode. Nothing about it is very memorable at all, aside from the admittedly amazing death, and obviously the amazing foot dive scene. The analysis, while really well edited, is nothing too special, and the sound effects are sometimes pretty distracting, and the battle, likewise, while having some great high points and some pretty good rigging here and there, is just, once again, just kind of boring. I'll give this episode credit in that I think it's slightly overhated, like, it's much better than the two before it on this list, but it really doesn't get much farther than this. This one is actually pretty hard to rank, because it really doesn't feel like a death battle episode. This one felt so weird and like nothing Death Battle's ever done before, and for that I love it. But in terms of actual quality, this one definitely falls short. It's by far the shortest episode in this season, with the analysis and fight not feeling finished. The analysis altogether was pretty good, and so is the fight. The fight definitely had good parts, especially the stop motion segment, but like I said, it just feels way too short. And the conclusion to the Boomstick Dad stuff was good enough, I guess. I'm glad they went in the direction they chose, but I feel like they could have definitely handled it better. Honestly, Doom vs. Lex is probably better than this episode in quality, but I have a lot more respect for this episode, so it manages to get a spot higher. It just queen shit myself! So this is easily the worst matchup in the entire season, which is why I was pleasantly surprised to find out that I actually liked this episode. The analysis is pretty fun, and other than some bad pacing in chorus and the stupid ass queen shit joke, it's all around good. And the fight? Well, the fight is basically Korra featuring Storm, because Storm does fuck all in it. Other than that, I have few actual problems though. The choreography is decent, the rigging on Korra is great, the effects are amazing, and the track is good. Really, I'd have this episode a good bit higher if Storm actually did anything cool, but yeah, this is an episode I really don't have to say about. I'm at least glad Avatar finally got a good episode. Dipshit. Man, it hurts putting this episode so low. This battle is what got me to watch Kill a Kill, and I absolutely loved the anime. So I was expecting to like it even more than I used to. It only made it worse. 
Ryuku's portrayal in this fight is fucking awful. She acts like she did in episode 1 and acts like a complete dick to Senkets, despite him being one of her best friends. This is one of the worst character portrayals I've ever seen on this show, and it is the main thing holding this episode back. Aside from that though, the episode's pretty good. The analysis isn't very funny and it's a bit bland, but I do like it, mostly due to my love of Kill a Kill. And the fight, while having a lot of flaws, especially in sound design, is still a really good and fun fight. The choreography is great, the effects look very nice, Ryuko sprites look good, except when they don't. Chaos Unraveled is an amazing track, and it has some really great shots. Overall, it's an episode I have very mixed feelings on, but the good luckily outweighs the bad. They're testicle. Shit! Batman vs. Iron Man is nowhere near a bad episode, but it is a little forgettable. The analysis is really good, and hearing all the crazy shit the two characters have is really cool. And while the analysis isn't that funny, it is still very much entertaining. The fight, meanwhile, is pretty solid. Right off the bat, it has easily the best puppet animation in the entire season. Like, oh my god, the sprites look amazing in this. But overall, it's just a fun fight. The banter is great, the choreography is cool, I love the ending. Suit yourself slaps, and Batman's bust this line is so cool. I do have a few issues, namely being that the uh, fight feels pretty short, but it's still a good animation. Overall, it's a solid episode that just doesn't really have enough high points for me to put it higher. I have no idea how to start this one, so let's just get right into it. The analysis is very fun. I enjoyed pretty much every part of it except the stupid ass Elon Musk jokes, but other than that joke, it's a good analysis that covers the characters really well. The fight, on the other hand is also really good. The choreography is very fun and fast, the voice acting is great, the track slaps, the death is amazing, the effects look nice, the predictable jokes are hilarious, and the wide shot of them fighting on the volcano looks incredible. All in all, it's a great episode that honestly came super close to taking the next spot on this list. Sadly though, I don't have that much to say about this one. Are those two sets of ears? You must have four times the hearing. Why is this episode so hated? Like seriously, there's obviously issues in it, but like, this is easily one of the most overheated episodes I've ever seen. Let's get the elephant in the room out of the way. Yes, the fart jokes and the analysis are awful, but other than that, the analysis is literally fine. It's mostly interesting and hearing them talk about Attack on Target made me really happy. But the analysis isn't why this is so high on my list. This episode's fight is just amazing. Let's get the only negatives out of the way. The setup is bad, the dialogue is dumb, and the death is a bit funny looking. That's all the negatives. This fight excels in choreography and camera work above all. Every part of this fight is just so fun to watch, and it's only heightened by how good of a track Th Thunder Shroud is. I hear people say the frame rate is bad, but other than the hair looking weird, I don't see it. I'm probably gonna have a lot of people disagree with me on this placement, but I don't care. This episode is underrated as fuck. Fuck you! You fucking dick! It's about damn time we got an animated movie character on Death Battle, and I'm glad Poe was the first. I'm also glad that he got a really good episode. Poe vs. Iron Fist has a really good analysis. Iron Fist is good and explains his character in Feats Ball, but the analysis really shines with Poe's. His analysis is just so fun and interesting, just hearing them talk about Kung Fu Panda is just really fun. And it's honestly the highlight for the entire episode for me. Then the fight is also really good. The banter is great and super in character. The voice acting is amazing. The choreography is really fun and I especially love the bamboo staff segment. The jokes are good and the effects, especially the hand drawn parts, are also really good. Overall, it's a really good episode and probably the best sprite fight in the first half. Already stole me with these Germans I have. This matchup really doesn't feel season premiere worthy, but holy shit, the episode sure did. Yoda vs. King Mickey has such a sense of passion in it. The analysis are some of the best in the season. They aren't the funniest, but they cover the characters and their stories so incredibly well, and that makes it so entertaining to watch. And then there's the fight, which is also just great. The choreography is mostly interesting, the camera work in some scenes is incredible, the effects look good, the banter and voice acting are great, the ending is amazing, and the fight gives off a vibe that not many others do, with both immediately showing respect to each other, and I like that. This episode was a great way to start the season off, and honestly, I could easily replace it with the next spot depending on how I feel. Nailed it, I know. Yoda vs. King Mickey, like I said, could have easily taken this spot. However, I think Link vs. Cloud 2 has a better fight and a better track, so it gets slightly higher. This episode's fight is just great. Yeah, there's definitely issues like the setup being non-existent, but the positives far exceed the negatives. 
The motorcycle fight with its cool action, the clone fight with its great choreography and camera work, and the great deity fight with the, the amazing atmosphere and effects. This fight has so many highlights, and the stuff in between those parts are also really good with great choreography and effects. The Blender team just really hit it out of the park for their first animation. Sadly, I can't say the same about the analysis, though. It's not bad, but it's not very good either. It's a decent analysis, and it's what makes it hard for me to put it above Yoda vs. King Mickey. However, this episode does still barely manage to edge it out. Why aren't you, aren't you dead? dead? With this, we get into what I like to call the three sprite episodes that carried the second half of this season. Reverse Slash vs. Goku Black is sadly the weakest out of this trio, though, and it's entirely due to one thing, Goku Black's analysis. Black's analysis was so fucking bad from the unfunny jokes to the god-awful pacing, it is easily the low point of the entire episode. Luckily, after that, there isn't a single bad part of the episode. Fun's analysis is great, it's interesting, it's funny, and it covers the character well. It's everything you'd want from an analysis. And then there's the fight, which is easily one of the best in this season. The choreography is awesome and uses the character's powers in such creative ways. The jokes in it are hilarious. The effects and voice acting arc are incredible. Reverse Rose is such an amazing trick. The sense of speed and power is conveyed so well. And the idea of them killing each other over and over throughout time is such a cool idea. Everything about this episode, except Goku Black's analysis, is amazing. Which sucks, because if it wasn't for that shitty analysis, it would have taken the next spot. Hell are you? A real fucking vampire. I did not expect this episode to be this amazing, but here we are. Dio vs. Elkrod has everything you'd want in a death battle. The analyses are near perfect. They cover the characters well, they're funny and interesting, they're paced well, and the other than Dio's having part 6 spoilers in it, I like have no issues with the analysis. And then the fight is just incredible. The choreography is fluid and fun. The atmosphere is great. The effects look stunning. The voice acting is incredible. The track slap, the hand-drawn parts look so cool, and the death is great. Everything about this fight in this episode is just done so amazingly and easily one of the best episodes of the season. I love it! I will be completely honest with this placement. This is my number two because of bias. But when the episode uses one of my favorite matchups ever and my favorite villain in all of fiction, obviously I'm gonna have a bias for it. But even without that bias, this episode is fucking amazing. The analysis is so much fun, it covers the characters well, it's funny, and it's entertaining, it's well edited, and I'm so glad they put both characters as high as they were put at. The analysis is just really good, but the fight is what really elevates this. Yes, it has some issues, there's a bit of jank here and there, and the setup is really bad. But the positives far outweigh those issues. The rigging is mostly really solid and the custom sprites look great. The choreography is amazing, the effects look good, the track is the best death battle track ever. The kill and fake out are great and the fight overall is just so hype and entertaining. And that's what this episode really is for me. It's just really entertaining and some of the most fun I've had watching a death battle since I can remember. However, this episode just couldn't be the one that followed it. How did you get so strong? I eat me spinach. What a way to end the season. Popeye vs. Saitama is just incredible. Starting off with the analysis, it's great. Saitama's is definitely my preferred with it covering his character so incredibly well. But Popeye's is great too, covering all of his wacky shit in a really fun way. The analysis is just really fun and entertaining. But the fight is on another level. Without a doubt, the best fight in the entire season. The animation looks incredible, and the swapping between styles is handled better than any other fight in the show. The choreography is so much fun and plays off the absolute ludicrous power these two have perfectly. Boulder Dash is a banger and highlights the fight really well. The jokes are extremely funny. The voice acting is amazing. The death in its buildup is great. The fight sense of speed and power is so good. The sound design is great. The pacing is incredible. And Saitama finally finding a serious fight feels so satisfying. I'd love to go more in depth with this one, but I don't have all day. Everything about this animation and this episode is just amazing. I have practically no issues with this episode, and it all just comes together to make one of my favorite episodes of all time and my favorite episode of season 8. And that's my ranking. This season was overall pretty good, with the average rating for an episode being a 7.4 out of 10. And that's pretty good. Overall, I think season 8 was incredible, honestly amazing, and definitely worthy of Death Battle's 10th anniversary season. It's leagues better than season 7, which I honestly gave way too much credit in my ranking. And while I don't want to jump the gun like I did in said ranking, I would be willing to call season 8 my favorite season. Now, I'm not going to do that, 
But it is 100% a contender for my number one. And I think that says enough. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys in the next one.